Okay guys, I'm back. Don't get used to me doing intros and outros because I don't think I'm going to really pay that much attention to it. That was just a thing because I coincidentally noticed that it was 15 minutes. So, yeah. I'm not sure how long this project's going to be. Mostly because it feels like it goes really fast, and if you know what you're doing, it's not hard. There's a secret here. You can hang down and get those bananas, but yeah. This, I remember actually being one of my favorites early in the game because I had a hard time playing this my first time playing. It was like the one level I was actually good at. So, and it's also, in my opinion, one of the easiest levels to get a bunch of mana coins in, so if you're struggling for that, grind on this level and you get plenty. Um, there's a lot of secrets in here too. Right here, for instance, is one of them, where you can get yet more banana coins and more bananas. Um, yeah, now you see I have plenty of lives already from doing what I do. I mean, I'm probably going to end up getting, like, it, like this first two worlds aren't hard. I'm keeping those for the later worlds, because God knows I'm going to need them, and if you want to grind for lives, you're going to need to have the ability to go back to other worlds, because... The game's just not forgiving. This is On Guard, your swordfish friend. If you get knocked off an animal buddy, they will go back and forth horizontally until you pick them back up. Uh, what was it? Yeah, it's right here. I passed it. On Guard is a swordfish. He was also in Donkey Kong Country 1. His thing is stabbing. His attack is a charge attack. He makes swimming easier. And he's one of the coolest animal buddies. So, I like him. And... Pretty sure I'm going the wrong. There's a bunch of different ways you can go through this, but the objective is to get to the top right area. Go! So. <laughs> I don't know what that word was. I meant to say sweet, I made it. Now, here's a funny thing is, like, I would see these collections of bananas in the shape of an A, and it was obvious it was A, but it never clicked in my brain the first time playing it. I would just think, oh, look, a collection of bananas, and that was it. I never thought, oh, that's the shape of an A. So a lot of the times the game would hint things at me, and I just never got it, because I'm dumb. And yes, as long as you have an animal buddy, you can technically get hit endless times without dying. So you won't lose a Kong. There are a few exceptions to that, but this is not one of them. And he turns into a balloon. Don't worry, that won't be the end of our card. So that's two of the five. That was really dangerous. Um, I mean, I could talk a little bit about the whole DK family history because I was a loser and I know all that thanks to Insomnia. Diddy, in relation to Donkey Kong, is Donkey Kong's nephew. Eh, actually, yeah, you can go straight down. And then Dixie is a part of a totally different family, and that's a thing that not many people think. They think that D Dixie and Diddy are related. They're not. There's actually two separate Kong families. Actually, I'm pretty sure multiple, because a few of them actually aren't even, like, mentioned who's related to what. Cranky is DK's... It's unconfirmed whether it's grandfather or just father. I think of him more as a grandfather. And he was the original Donkey Kong, you know, from the arcade game. Which I think is a really cool thing. I like the idea that Rare was like, hey man, let's just say this is him. Because that's funny to me. I like that. That's creative. And I think, because a lot of people, they, like, try and make sense of shit. Okay, so I blew it. <laughs> um, there's still salvation for me, though. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on guard into bananas. You can team attack up here, and then still get the DK coin. What you were supposed to do was at that part up there, have on guard charge, and then he'll swim all the way down here, and then collect the DK coin that way. But they gave you a safety net that they probably didn't even know existed, so there you go. <sighs> Um, people speculate, like, oh, you know, how the, how it makes sense with him being related and shit. Hold on. Swanky. <laughs> Save it for a minute. Swanky. This guy is a thing you can spend your banana coins on. It's a game show to earn lives. So this, I have a last resort sheet, as I'm calling it. But for the most part, I'm basing this off of memory and just how much of the game I know myself. He will ask you random trivia questions. This one's free. So, firstly, what is his name? Well, it's Swanky. What is the first game? This is a furry rat. I'm not looking at it, I promise. What is the name of this area? This is the Gangplank Galleon. I'm only having the sheet just this way. I don't end up burning a bunch of coins if I do mess up, so... Yeah, now I've got it. 
What button do you press to run? That's Y, because Super Nintendo's weird. What is the name of the first level of the game? That's Pirate's Panic. What is the name of the enemy that has kidnapped Donkey Kong? Captain K. Rule. Originally King K. Rule in the first game, but he has split personality disorder, so King K. Rule is a really, really interesting character. Who needs to be in Smash Brothers? <laughs> Shimp Challenge. In the first level, how many are in this cabin home? This one I had to make sure to study. The answer is four. What is the name of the first rigging level? That's Mainbury Mayhem, because the others are not levels. The first level in the game, you know, where you get to see the balloon and all that. He has a sword in the background and the map is floating. What he doesn't have is a gun in the background. He keeps the gun on his person. So, there we go. I've got plenty of lives, but I can assure you, all the same, I'm still going to be burning through them. Swanky, I'm not really sure how he's related to them. I don't think it's ever said. You know what? I, I think they are related. But he's meant to be the rich guy. This is Ratley, your next animal partner. He's a new one. He was not inside of um the original. He does have the jumping ability as his special ability and can charge up. But it's not advised I do that at all right now. Because I could end up hitting an enemy by accident. Um, in the original Donkey Kong Country, you had a frog named Winky. Who essentially was the same thing, except he controlled, like, poop. So, I much prefer Ratley over it. And, well, it kind of makes sense, because he's got a springy tail. I mean, I guess a frog works. Now, a broken thing about Ratley, though, is the idea that he can jump, and then jump in mid-air. So, if you use that the right way, hold on, buddy, then you can pretty much cheat a lot of it. And, yes, I didn't forget. Okay, I did forget. <laughs> Here's a bonus level. And, again, this is one where... Holding the Y button is kind of a necessity, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to do these challenges very well. I remember finding that out the hard way. I don't think it was until I got to World 3 after struggling for a long period of time that I learned holding the Y button was a must if you want to go through the game. So that is telling you need the A button. You don't. It's helpful, but you don't for that part. You have to learn how to use Ratley as best you can, because otherwise you're not going to be able to complete the game that well. That chest, I believe, holds a 1-up, but I'm not too concerned about it. If you ever want to dismount an animal, you can press the X button to get off of them. So, that's a thing. Um, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure Swanky's related to them. He's supposed to be, like, the rich uncle or something like that. Um, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. Diddy is Donkey's nephew. And then... Dixie is... Diddy's girlfriend, who is a part of a totally different line. Dixie has a little sister named Tiny, and a cousin, I believe, I believe it's a cousin, named Kitty, who has an older brother named Chunky. So Dixie and Tiny, Kitty and Chunky, they're a family. And then you have <laughs> Diddy, Donkey, Cranky, Wrinkly, who owns the Con College and helps you save. They're all related. And then... There's two... Well, this one... Actually, she's not in this game. But, um, there is also... Holy crap. There's Candy Kong, who is Donkey Kong's girlfriend. She was the one who controlled the save point in the first game. But she doesn't show up in this game for some reason. She just shows up in later games, so it's not like they forgot her. But, uh, yeah, no. That's Donkey Kong's girlfriend. Um... There's Funky Kong, who we haven't run into yet. I don't quite remember how he's related, but he does have an interesting thing where... Now, that was the pass level. If I go over here, though, I can get the, this nice balloon and have 80 lives. See, I've kind of proven that I didn't need the 50, but I'm, like, you know, for this first half, I'm not cheating. I feel like I might have missed something. Let me check. Okay, no. I see an exclamation point. I see the coin. Alright. This is Funky Kong. He lets you warp from world to world. We only have one world, so there's no real point in doing that. 24 minutes, so I guess we can uh, do this. The boss. The first boss. In reality, I probably shouldn't be saying the differences between uh, 
Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2 just in case I do decide to do the first one. I don't know, maybe if I practice enough I might, maybe if you guys want to I might. But I just know for a fact I've wanted to do this one. My thoughts on the third one are that they have really, really, really good level design, but I hate the overworld. If I could learn it, I could appreciate it more. Let me see if I can. Down decision. I just saw it and wanted to take advantage of it. There you go. He's not a hard boss. We're almost done already, actually. But of course, I'm probably going to die all the same. There you go. And as you saw, the boss dropped a Krim coin. Bosses also do that. They are the only other thing aside from bonuses that do that. Now if we go back, we will see we've gotten every bonus and every DK coin in Gangplank Galleon, thus making it 100%. The only other thing I guess required to add to it that I guess we could do next time we come across it is use a save point because that's required to do at some point in time in order to add to your 100%. Swanky, I don't believe, attributes that at all. And entering the second world, Crocodile Cauldron, Hothead Hop. This is actually one of my favorite levels, mostly because it's really easy. So, I'm just going to carry on as if we're not doing the part system. I don't have both partners. Shit. Oh, well, there goes that guy. <laughs> These green ones act as platforms. That's a claptrap. I don't know if we've actually run into claptraps yet. I mean, in the original they're called claptraps. In this game they're called clampongs, which I'm not a fan of, personally. Up here is a secret black chest which blends in, and it contains a little secret, and I wanted to get it. So I'm going to use it right here. Two extra lives. Jump, jump, and then he shoots you up in the air. Go ahead and bring that together. I really like crushing some of these barrels and stuff together, I just find it amusing. Yeah, now this looks h harder than it actually is, it's pretty easy. I mean, as long as you understand how to use the Y button, you're fine. Here's a cannonball! And the O! If you pick it up, thank you, Dixie. Jump, jump, and then you land, and regardless, he's gonna end up dead. Pretty much if you're holding a cannonball, you're almost invincible to just about anything. And here we go. First bonus. This one actually has three bonus barrels in it. That was a thing. There was one guy, his, um, I don't know his YouTube anymore, but his name was like, I swear, it was like Doki Doki LPs or Doki Doki Ps or something like that. The dude had a great walkthrough for this game, and it was unlike anything else I'd ever seen. Like, he had this little menu, like, on the side, it was a sidebar that showed you how many bonuses were in each area, how, where the DK coin was. He'd check it off when he got the DK coin, and it was just a phenomenal walkthrough that helped me learn how to 100% the game for when I wanted to go back. Um, I don't know what happened to his stuff, but he was great, and I really wish I could find it again. But again, I've got the game down, so I'm set. Anyway, this is our spider buddy new to this game named Squitter. Um, he's actually one of the most complex characters to control because you can shoot webs normally, you can press A and A again to make platforms, but if you push in any direction, it manipulates the way the webs act. So that's what makes him complicated, is having to maneuver the way his webs work. And, you know, it can take a bit of practice. You can only have two webs up at a time, and then after that they start to disappear. The thing is that as it starts to disappear, sometimes it'll disappear the second web you make, sometimes it'll disappear the first web. So sometimes you can get screwed out of this, and this becomes a problem in the later worlds, a level in specific. But Squitter is really, really useful, he's super cool, he's new to this game, uh, he was not in the first one. The G, have we gotten everything? Yeah, we do. That's all the Kong letters. That was another thing, was Doki also made sure to get all the Kong letters in every single level, which is, you know, something most people don't do. Because the Kong letters don't really matter. All they do is give you an extra life. It's nice, but in later levels, it's not worth the difficulty to get it all. I'm not sure if I've gotten them all thus far or not. I don't think so. I probably have. But, yeah, there you go. That's the last one. Some of these bonus barrels are in plain sight like that one was, but, yeah. Go ahead, kill these guys, 
and Squitter goes bye-bye and turns into a balloon for us, as we have 86 lives and an extra banana coin. Holy crap, I'm going to take a drink now. <laughs>